some time with a few fiends of mine. <laughs> Opportunity to terrorize our audience. Here's a spine-chilling saga about a bridge. A bridge young Eddie Gruff was terrified to cross. I call it the Brothers Gruff. <laughs> One guess who Eddie is. All right, you think I can... In the Gruff family, I'm the little brother. The guy at the end of the pecking order. No matter what, I get the blame. No thanks to my pig of a big brother, Horace. Sometimes I wished I had someone to pass the buck to. Like my own little brother. Or a dog. But all I had was Fred. No one's gonna believe a gerbil ate my homework. I could never rat you out, Fred. We're pals. Eddie? Dentist? 345! Be home! 345?! But I'll never make it on time! No buts! Take the shortcut across the bridge. The bridge?! <laughs> Not the bridge, anything but the bridge! I'd even kiss my brother What's on the, the matter? matter? Diaper boy, you think one of those goobers you believe in's gonna get ya? <laughs> That's goblins, pig face. And it's trolls that live under bridges, not goblins. Let me take this opportunity to point out that I had never seen a troll. Didn't know anyone who'd ever seen a troll. But I had every reason to believe that a mean, ugly, evil troll lived under that bridge. Why? Sheldon. Sheldon was the neighborhood ghost, goblin, and troll expert. He'd read the books, seen the movies, heard the stories. He knew. 
What you gonna do, Eddie? Don't know, Sheldon. Trolls afraid of anything? Yep. Giant ogres. Doesn't help, does it? Nope. <gasps> Troll? Too slow! No? Too big! Goblin? Not in daylight! Ogre! Ah! We had seconds to choose. The bridge or death by ogre. <laughs> Sheldon, we crossed the bridge. Ah! On the way home, Sheldon debriefed me. It was certain the troll would try to follow us. Unless we took the standard precautions. Vinegar bath, tinfoil hats, and the pockets of your mom's house coat stuffed full of chalk. This was guaranteed to throw any troll off a kid's trail. I was real glad to have someone like Sheldon in my corner. Three gallons of vinegar and a roll of tin foil later, I was walking around smelling like a fish and chips TV dinner. Eddie messed up the bathroom. And look what he did to the ceiling. <gasps> All right, how'd you do it, pig face? How'd you do it? It wasn't me, diaper boy. It didn't matter. What mom's gonna believe a kid walking around with tinfoil on his head smelling like go to Captain Highliner? Boy, that vinegar went straight to my skateboard knee scabs. Got some ketchup packs. Wanna go explode them? Can't. Grounded. Strawberry jam. On the ceiling? Yeah, how'd you know? Sheldon? Hello, Sheldon? Weird. Eddie! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Horace was with me. So there I was, back in my room with back-to-back -back sentences. Stinky, rounded, and lonely. Gerbils don't like vinegar. Uh-oh. Fred? The kitchen. Fred! Fred? Out of your cage, Fred. Fred, but you're there. Then what's behind? Huh? Ouch, Eddie. <gasps> what is going on here? Hey, what's? Wow. How'd you do that, Eddie? Well, if Horace didn't do it, and I didn't do it, and you didn't do it, who did? Hey, Sheldon! <gasps> Wait up! Oh! <laughs> what gives? 
Guys, I don't need you acting weird, too. I got enough weird happening. Jam on the ceiling? Newspaper pasted to the walls? Everything in the fridge mushed? Trolls! <laughs> ah, troll did it! The jam, the newspaper, the mush! It's a textbook case! A troll? It must have followed you home! That's impossible, Sheldon! I did what you said! The tinfoil, the bath, Mom's robe, the... The chalk! I didn't fill my pockets with chalk! What? Without the chalk, they can smell your shadow! Ah! It's gonna get worse, Eddie. A lot worse. Trolls get mean. Especially bridge trolls. They work their way up to it. First playful, then... Oh, watch out. Okay, so tell me what to do. Worry and wear bright colors. Huh? Trolls live underground. They prefer muted earth tones. They hate bright colors, especially pink. Bright colors? That's ah! it? A troll's after me and you tell me to wear bright colors? A fashion statement? Sheldon said the troll was after something, and it wouldn't leave until it got it. If the troll wasn't after Fred, then what was it after? <gasps> Eddie? Come out, come out, wherever you are! Horace! So I can wedge you. Tinfoil's still good at close range. What about the bright colors? Whoa! Nuclear! Way to go! Show no mercy! Okay, hat, shirt, backpack, chalk... <sighs> All set. You sure you want to rescue him, Eddie? Think about it. Life without a big brother? I mean, this is like someone stealing your garbage! I gotta do it, Sheldon. I got him into this. I crossed the bridge. <clears throat> A kid's gotta do what a kid's gotta do, but I still say it's like giving back the lottery jackpot. Yeah, well, just stick to the plan and you can't lose. Right, coming from a guy who can't tell a skunk from a giant ogre. Yeah? Well, maybe you'd better check your chalk level again, Eddie. According to Sheldon's crash course, trolls are clever, crafty, they steal anything that's not glued down, can't resist a good trade, and are only afraid of giant ogres. Don't worry. Remember, no matter what happens, I'm right behind you. I'd only seen Sheldon move that fast when food was involved. Wherever he was going, I hoped he'd remember to send me a postcard. Well, I know you won't chicken out on me, Fred. <gasps> Smells good. Uh, what's cooking? Nothing... yet. <gasps> so... you want back? It was time to put Plan A into action. No, but if you want me to take him back, you're gonna have to pay me. Uh, me pay you? <gasps> Fine with me. But don't say I didn't warn you when bad things start happening. Bad thing? Ooh, very bad things. Horrible things. Indescribably bad, horrible things. Things so indescribably bad and horrible. How much? 
spiky body, old bottles, and shiny bits. Time pieces. Silver teeth. Hmm. Bag of coins and, and this jewelry. I don't know. And this? Maybe I keep all. <laughs> Time to launch Plan B. Then how about a trade? What got? Battery-powered yo-yo. Mom's fridge magnet. Hmm. The remote control. Hmm. Uh, Wait, Jack. The answer is Bismarck for two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, hmm. What is the capital of North Dakota? Mm -hmm. Dad's glow-in-the-dark boxer shorts, ref's whistle, hand buzzer, video game, hologram cards, calculator, and a mini flashlight. Well, what do you say? Have we got a trade or what? What more in bag? Uh, nothing. You got it all. Mm. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Huh? Trey! Not Fred! All the other stuff, but not Fred! Trey! Ah! No! I love Fred! Trey! He's my friend! You're only my big, stupid, fat-head pig brother! You made fun of me for believing in trolls! Not so funny now, is it, Horace? Trade! All right, but you gotta let Horace go and go back where you came from and don't bother any more kids for keeps. You gotta understand, Fred, he's my brother. <laughs> okay, now let my brother go. No, 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 no! Keep this. Keep that. <laughs> Keep you. Eddie! Look out! <laughs> I'll be back. Come on! We don't have much time! Plans A and B got a D minus. Plan C got an A plus. Sorry, Fred. It'll never happen again. Don't eat me! Please don't eat me! Please! It was us, Horace! Please. Me and Sheldon! A kiddie pool? Pack 
packing straw, an old basket. Vulgar! Huh? <laughs> Horace, where's my bathrobe? Horace! Honest, Eddie. I'll never blame you for nothing again. I mean it. And, and I promise to never make fun of you again for believing in those things. Hamburger. Chocolate sauce. Uh, yeah, sure, Horace. You're forgiven. Don't forget the mosquito repellent. Great. Could you hurry it up? All finished. You sure this is going to keep the augers away? Ogres. Guaranteed. How long do I have to keep it on for? Mm, three or four days. Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> see, what Morris didn't know is that ogres never follow kids home. The only thing Sheldon's mixture was going to keep away was his friends, our parents, teachers, cats, dogs, and Fred. Sometimes, being the little brother has its upside. big brother from getting goblined up by playing a bluff and winning hands down. <laughs> okay, forget everything else. Whoever has the biggest hand wins. I win! <laughs> so until next treat boils and ghouls, take scare. Wherever you can get it. <laughs> <laughs>